Oh. Hmm. 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 Let's go to a party. In Canada. I'm wearing my Canadian shirt. It's from Canada. And uh here's a rare here's a here's a party. Here's a party you haven't been to before. Here's, this, this is a party you haven't been to before. It's a Canadian party that you've never been to before. You've never been to the trainer group two backslash V C party before. I promise you that. Two channel amp. Uh uh, two channel amp, one's a dry channel, volume, bass and treble. The other channel's got a medium amount of things going on. Channel volume, boing, bass, treble, reverb, a master volume, and then down here is sort of effects section. This, for VCF, is uh, it's kind of like an active um, uh, mid situation. Um, uh, where you can uh, you can you can cut mids and boost mids and uh, and move the move the cue points and then you've got a uh, a um, what's it called uh, they they label it as oscillator but it's just a tremolo it's labeled as tremolo there too and this is a solid state amp this is about a hundred watts of like real solid state power. And uh, real, like as opposed to class D, like you can sort of um, uh, like believe the wattage rating. And uh, uh, 1981 um, Les Paul Deluxe and the JCM 800 bass cab. Um, which is just a like an 800 412 um, that is deeper and uh, let's see where am I gonna put you that's a nice little spot yeah I just look like this, this shirt's like very cruise uh, right now no pedals are on and the channel volume is cranked and
Hurricane Blues Driver. <laughs> Thank you. 
just like this always happens to me I just like lose track of time uh, but look it's worth it you're worth it while we've got a break you know what is the fucking truth <clears throat> swing 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 Swing, swing, swing. I like it. I like it so much. Um, it sounds great. All the modes sound great. If I had to pick a mode that I think that I'm having the most fun with, it is the RE, the RE side of things. Um, both vintage and modern buffer options on the RE sounds rad. Modern's just a little bit brighter.
I guess this makes sense. I'm doing a lot of thinking. Also, I'm gonna need to wrap this up because we're going on. We got a low bat situation here. Um, so the tremolo is just like even cooler than I remember. I think that's one takeaway. The reverb is is kind of who cares. Um, I didn't show you that, and you're, you know, it sounds like a <coughs> taking off the guitar. It sounds like a small tank reverb and. You're not mad at it, but it's all, you know, it's not the reason, it's not the reason why you're coming to this party. Ooh. Um, <clears throat> but what we, but what I was learning and what the low bat situation is kind of like preventing me from really, I mean, it just looks fucking sick also. I think that's literally undeniable. Um, uh, you got it's just got way more gain with the mids cranked, which I didn't really think about because I was running everything. Uh, but that makes sense that um, that was just up so much. Couldn't really tell to be completely honest what this top one was doing. This was for sure moving moving the band. This seemed to, you know, who knows? I've never read the thing, but it was like mid. Went, we went from, we went from like mid gain. Everything is fine. Everything is like normal. A little mid gain, like a plexi amount of gain to like gain gain, uh, and that was a lot of fun. And maybe one day I'll, I'll boost that, and and this will be a. A trainer a destructo device instead of just like a trainer like cool amp 70s 70s rock device um uh this rule is turn on extreme battery saver not now not now we're almost done and uh very different sounding preamp than the the solid state trainers that fans of the channel may be used to seeing the TS flavor style of channel. Very different vibe. This is from the same era of solid state trainers that brought us the mono block and the mono block two, which there's a mono block two video, like 60 videos ago. And, uh, I don't remember if the video I made was any good, but the amp, it was legitimately fucking incredible. And is it the same preamp as in here? I don't know, but it's, but it, but it like jogs my memory to that, which is like a little hairy, but nothing intense and not that same sort of like, like squ major squash, like a uh, high gain TS sound. 
Um, and I'm happy to have it. And it behaved itself. Last time I played it, it was, uh, it did not behave itself. And this time it really behaved itself for, for like a long time. Um, sick. Okay, cool. Bye. I'm taking this, I'm going, I'm taking this shirt somewhere where you can't come. <laughs>